Hey guys, this is SaxFan112, and welcome to another episode of... Dan, the Computer Man. Okay, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can convert a DVD and put it on to your iPod or PSP. And please note that you can only do this with DVDs that you own. So don't do it with one that you can run from the video store or with someone else's DVD. That's just illegal and I just don't know why the heck you can't do that. And the two pieces of software you're going to need to do this are DVD decryptor and Vidora iPod converter which I will provide links to those in my video description. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is open up DVD Decryptor. And since I have my disk in already, it's loaded all the stuff. And after you put the disk in, go to Mode and change it to IFO. Then, go to Tools, Settings, IFO Mode tab, and change File Splitting to None. Then, after that, go to the Stream Processing tab, and then check the Enable Stream Processing tab, and only have the video and your audio checked. Now, right here, you can specify where you'll want the files to be. Like, for example, I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Then, when you confirm that you have all the correct settings, you can click the Decrypt button. Then, it will show this progress window of how much it's done. And there's a progress bar here, and a buffer bar. Okay, once that part of your conversion is done, You'll notice two items on the desktop, VTS-050 and VTS-051. We want to convert this one because that's the DVD movie info. This is the actual movie itself. So now you want to open Vidora iPod Converter and follow all my instructions. Now, click on Convert, go to the Video File tab, and always choose Power Mode. And then, click the Select File button, and cho choose the DVD movie file, wherever you saved it, like the desktop for example. And now, you want to probably save this into your My Videos folder. And here, you type in the movie name, such as Shrek 2. Now, after that, you had to choose your device profile. Like, for example, iPod 5G, iPod Touch, iPod Classic 6G, iPod Nano 3G, or iPhone. And for the sound profile, just leave it on the default setting, because that is the best quality for the sound. And then after you have all your options chosen, click Start Converting. And then I'll show this thing that says Conversion Progress. And you have an option to convert another video file during the process and add it to the list or you can choose to view the cur current conversion progress which I'm going to do right now and this is the progress window it shows converting Shrek 2 or the title of your movie that you typed in and it shows a progress of how long until it's done and this is the longest part of a DVD conversion because it will take about roughly seven to eight hours 
So I recommend you find something really productive to do during that time period. Okay, so now the second part of my conversion is done. Now you can officially put the video file onto your iPod. So now I can open up iTunes and import your video file. Here's mine. And now it has to press, process the L artwork, which doesn't take long. That was quick. And now you can connect your iPod and just sync it right on. And if you want to, you can right click on the video file and click convert selection for iPod slash iPhone, but you don't have to do that. I'll click no to that. And now I can just go right to my movies and drag her right to my iPod. And this copying may take a couple minutes. So, see you in a little while. Okay, now the conversion's done. And I'm just going to check out my movie thing on my iPod to make sure it got there. And sure enough, it did. And you can also change the genre and the year for it. So... That is about it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to convert a DVD and put it onto your iPod. Thanks for watching.